Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, the other way that either businesses get hacked or uh, enterprise or even, um, you know, government agencies. And of course, to something closer to us, the regular user, uh, lack of updates on the software they're using. And you know, we talk about updates here. We talk about Windows updates. The first thing to do uh, in enterprise, they'll have server updates, so Windows server updates, things like that. But even more than that, it's much wider than that. I tell you every week that, or every month that updates, updates are super important. And that keeps you safe because a lot of the updates and the security updates block ways that malware can actually enter your PC. And what happens is that there's more to this than just the updates you have in Windows. Um, old obsolete software is a danger because it has often security flaws. Uh, an example of that, uh, a lot of people use an old version of Office that hasn't been updated in years not thinking that, you know, because for them it does what they want and uh, it's it's normal. And Office isn't a cheap piece of software too. And what happens is that that old obsolete Word or Excel might contain security flaws that if you open a bad Word document by accident, um, you might get your PC infected through another piece of software. So that's why, you know, I, uh, I get it. It costs a lot of money, but that's why having at least the, uh, a version that's supported and has updates is important and, and everything you're using Adobe Photoshop, uh, Adobe Acrobat, uh, maybe you're using for some reason, you know, uh, the, uh, Adobe reader for PDFs. These pieces of software have updates and they have security updates because somebody somewhere finds a way to, in, you know, get into the software and then hack into your PC in some way because the software has a flaw and you might have opened a malformed PDF, for example, for Adobe Reader. Um, there could be malformed pictures. You know, it's, it's crazy. Malformed pictures that might open in Photoshop, an unpatched Photoshop that could open the way to malware. It's very, very interesting because updates, we often, I, you know, here I, I will, unless there's a very big flaw in a piece of software, I will pretty much, you know, keep the updates to uh, the browser or um, Windows updates. And sometimes if there's a really bad, uh, really bad flaw, I'll make a special video on, well, you got to update your Adobe, you know, Acrobat or Adobe Reader or Photoshop or, or you know, uh, your iPhones and iPads and, and, and Apple devices. The updates are far more than just the software for this, the, the operating system. And some of the flaws that get exploited in enterprise, for example, and even in some uh, um, government agencies and in schools, Sometimes comes from the fact that somewhere in the system something is not patched, and whatever happened to cause that malware to be visible and try something, well, it saw the unpatched area and just screwed everything up, and then you know you got ransomware and so on. So updates are crucial and the most important. Um, along with, you know, knowing what to do, being careful. You don't have to be an expert to be careful. Uh, too many people think, well, you know, I use an antivirus because I don't know what I'm doing. It's the other way around. You got to know what you're doing because the antivirus ain't going to protect you if you don't, if you, if you do things you shouldn't do. Uh, it's always the same thing. And there are no better antivirus than any other. Every time I see somebody mention, oh, well, the best antivirus is this. No, bull. It's that's not the way it works. There is no best antivirus and there is no 100% antivirus. That's as clear as it can be. And any good security researcher will all tell you 
you know, so many things to check for security, but antivirus is not going to be mentioned because they know it doesn't do that much. Um, so, you know, patch everything. It This is 90 plus percent of your security is patching every software with the latest security updates that they have. That keeps you safe much more than an antivirus. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.